What is an electron domain, also called a charge center? So why should you care? Well, VSEPR theory, knowledge of where the electron domains are, will tell you the shape of a molecule. So if I have a central atom surrounded by three other atoms, covalently bonded to it, this VESPA theory and a knowledge of electron domains will allow you to decide that those three electron domains are going to be spaced out evenly around the central atom, giving it a trigonal planar shape. So maybe it should be called Visitor theory, because it's really the electron domains, more than the electron pairs, that govern the shape. So what is an electron domain? Well, let me draw out some molecules, and the numbers underneath each atom represent the number of electron domains in that atom. So see if you can work out the pattern. So the number of electron domains seems to correspond to the number of single, double, or triple bonds around an atom. But that's not quite true, because it's also the number of lone pairs too. So to reiterate, an electron domain is a single, double, or triple bond, or a lone pair. So this nitrogen appears to be wrong, but there is a lone pair that I deliberately didn't put in. I never said there were Lewis structures, so lone pairs might be missing. And for the nitrogen on the right, there are three single bonds that are electron domains, and the fourth electron domain is the lone pair, again, that I didn't draw in. So try these ones. So that oxygen, there's a trick there. There's three electron domains. Sulfur hexahydride is pretty straightforward. But carbon monoxide, there's a lone pair at each end, which gives two electron domains each. And again, the cheeky omission as the IB themselves will emit the lone pairs on the molecule, giving 3, 2, 3 for that ion.